a frustum of a pyramid is what we get when we take a pyramid and we cut off the top parallel to the base. Another way of looking at this is saying that we it's kind of like a prism except one of the bases is scaled down from the other one. Um, but it, it, the formulas are more closely related to pyramids, so um, in any case we call this a frustum of a pyramid. It's kind of a weird name, frustum, but that's, yeah, that's what it's called. Alright, so here are some formulas. Oh, I guess before I get there, uh, when we're talking about the slant height, uh, or the, the height of the pyramid is the distance between the bases again. The slant height is the distance between the bases along one of the sides. Uh, the, the altitude is just the straight up distance. It's not, not, a, not during any specific direction, or it's rather it's measured at a perpendicular. Um, and when we have those, uh, we can just plug stuff into these formulas. I'm not going to try to explain where these formulas come from, because things get much more complicated. We're just going to refer back to these whenever we need to find the lateral surface area. We're going to use this formula. When we need to find the volume of a frustum of a pyramid, we use this formula. Alright, so find the lateral surface area, the total surface area, and the volume of this square-based frustum. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to need to find those things. L, the lateral surface area, as you can see right here, it's 1 half times P1 plus P2 times S. So P1 and P2, those are the parameters of my two bases. Um, since I have two bases in this, I'm actually going to draw them both up. Let's see, we have 9 inches, 9 inches, 9 inches, and 9 inches. My perimeter here is 36 inches. And my area of this guy, um, I'll need that eventually, is going to be 81 square inches. Just 9 times 9 is 81. Those are, it's a square, so that's pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, for the other base, this is 15 inches along each of these. And so the perimeter, so this I'll call this perimeter 1 and area 1. This will be perimeter 2. Um, let's see, 4 times 15 is 60. And area 2, the area of this guy, would be 225 uh, square inches. Because that's 15 times 15, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we have um, kind of all the stuff we're going to need for, our, um, for the two bases there. I'm just going to plug stuff into the formulas here. The lateral surface area is 1 half times the sum of my two perimeters. That's 36 plus 60 times my slant height. And it looks like the slant height is given right here as 5 inches. So it's just a matter of plugging stuff into the calculator. 0.5 times parentheses 36 plus 60. Close my parentheses times 5. We get 240. And this would be, since this is a lateral surface area, this would be in square inches. All right, total surface area, which is going to be my lateral surface area, plus, um, I guess I don't have the formula up there, but just kind of reasoning my way through this, I don't need a formula here. My lateral surface area is going to be this, the area of all my lateral, lateral faces. But then I need to add on the top, the area of the top face, and then the area of the bottom face. So L plus A1 plus A2. You don't always need formulas. You're not always going to be supplied with all of these formulas. Sometimes you have to reason your way through it and say, okay, well, my lateral surface area plus these other two bases will give you my total surface area. So I get 240 plus 81 plus 225. Those are the areas of my two other bases, which gives me 546. This again is in square inches. All right, uh, the last thing I'll find on this one is the volume. And let me. So the volume formula is a little bit complicated. Um, we get one third times the height, parentheses, a1 plus a2 plus the square root of a1 times a2. All right, so one third, we know what that is. The height, we know what that is. That's four. Area one is 81. Area two is 225. The square root of 81 times 225, I don't know what that is, but I'll just put that in there. And so this will give me the volume of this whole thing. We do one third times four times 
open up some parentheses, 81 plus 225 plus, I'm going to do the square root of, where's the square root on here, right here, and because I want to make sure this square root is evaluated properly, I'm going to open up some uh, a second set of parentheses here to do the, 20, the 81 times 225. When I close my first set of parentheses, you can see that matches up, that closes my square root. And then the second set of parentheses closes up the parentheses that I actually have written down here. So I press enter, and we got 588. Uh, this is a volume, which means, means it'll be measured in cubic inches.